It is almost the end of 2022, and I thought that I might just review what I've been doing this year. And by doing, I don't actually mean activism. Activism is, of course, the most important thing. But I think participation is important too. If you're out protecting the community and the culture, that subtracts from the amount of time you spend participating in it. And they can only exist if people participate in them. So I think that as much as people should be active, people should also participate when they're not being active. I haven't been particularly active, so how have I been participating? And I thought that I might just do a short review of that. Anybody can participate in ways great and small. I shall split my review into two segments. One is the real life slash local, and the other is the online slash international, since the Online activities have an international reach, and the real-life activities have only a local reach. In terms of participation, I've been shopping local. I almost exclusively shop in the local butcher, local shops, such as newsagents, petrol pumps, vintage and charity shops, etc. I don't do very much shopping in supermarkets at all. And I think that this is useful um, well, because it's supporting local businesses rather than these massive conglomerates. I also only use cash when I'm in a shop. I use my card at ATMs to get cash, but then I use the cash in the shops. It's clear that the powers that be don't want us using cash, so the more of us that use it, the more established it is and the harder it is to get rid of it. And it makes it easier for everyone else to continue to use it. So I only use cash. I also consume local content. By this I mean I buy things that are published locally, like the local ads magazine, even though I hardly ever buy anything from them, and the local papers, which I buy every week, and they come out every week, so I buy every issue, and also locally published books. I've done a video on one of those in the past, and this year I bought uh, approximately three of them. Um, two of them came out this year, and one was a reprint of one from the 60s, which I bought. I also do other things like buying local raffle tickets and so on. I go to local dancing, um, and I generally try to be a familiar face. So I go around the same few shops enough times so that the staff probably recognize me to see, and so do other people who go regularly. I tend to wear approximately the same clothes and so on, so that um, over time I become a habitual presence. In terms of... Um, political marches and so on. I think I attended one this year. And in terms of supporting organizations in the country, there is one that I support. I donate regularly and have done for a number of years. In terms of the online slash the international, um, the main focus of this really has been YouTube. Um, I've been, this year I've subscribed to lots of channels and left likes and comments. Uh, to a greater extent than normal, but still not very much. But this is just good for the algorithm, so it helps out other people who are making things that are more useful than mine. And it's a very simple and easy thing to do, and anyone can do it. In terms of this channel, I have made over 30 videos this year. I'm not sure what the final number will be. Um, there's still a few days left in the year, and I have a few more ideas, but I may or may not make the videos. Um, it just helps to have more videos in the space. Um, it's a bit of a strength in number psychology. Um, you know, if nobody did anything, then the people who are out there might feel more alone. So this is helping in a very small way. And I think that during the year, some people have found some of the videos that came out this year helpful. I've also been um, obviously generally watching things in different people, which helps their algorithm. If they get more views, they're more likely to be promoted and more views to get more views. In terms of funding and fundraising, I bought the book Small Victories, so that rewards Antelope Hill for their efforts. I also do some uh, donations to people and have done for a while. In terms of other contributions, which are maybe more direct and more um, relevant, in terms of the Small Victories book, I actually contributed to that. Um, I have a poem that was published in it, so... One very small part of that book exists thanks to me. I try to enter competitions when I can. 
I also took part in the What is White video competition, which was hosted by Kindred Creators. Um, I think my video is probably one of the least viewed and least popular, but uh, it's there, so uh, better than nothing, and helps to make up the numbers. I also just recently sent, um, well, a few weeks ago I sent uh, Millennial Woes a Christmas card, and then that Christmas card appeared in his Christmas card stream. So, and there was money in the card, so I help him out directly, and I help his content as well. And, uh, I won't say which card it was, but, um, he, uh, well, was very nice about it. So those are some of the things I've been doing, uh, or some of the ways in which I have participated this year. And it might seem like a very meagre list, but um, it could easily have been less, could easily have been more, and I hope maybe next year it will be more. Um... It's just kind of a review. It's um, uh, not great, not terrible. Um, and I think maybe anybody else listening to this can do their own checklist. I'm sure they'll be much more impressive than I am. Um, and uh, we can all hope to improve next year. <laughs>